Gdy na świecie nie było jeszcze Józefa Piłsudskiego, gdy w Stanach Zjednoczonych trwała wojna secesyjna, gdy w Polsce dopiero szykowano się do organizacji powstania styczniowego, w Nottingham powstawało Notts County FC. Dziś zapraszam Was na relację z mojej podróży do pierwszej profesjonalnej drużyny piłkarskiej na świecie. Dziś zapraszam Was na odcinek poświęcony ekipie Notts County. Wstyd się przyznać, ale po raz pierwszy o tej legendarnej drużynie usłyszałem dopiero w roku 2011, kiedy to jako kibic Juventusu zobaczyłem, że stara dama zaprasza na mecz otwarcia swojego stadionu właśnie drużynę Notts County. Nie zaprosili wtedy Barcelony, Manchesteru, tak żeby sprzedać jak najwięcej biletów, żeby było jak największe zainteresowanie tym meczem, a zaprosili właśnie tę legendarną drużynę. A dlaczego tak się stało? Wszystko za sprawą strojów. To właśnie dzięki ekipie z Midon Lane Juve gra w biało-czarnych pasach. Do 1903 roku stara dama występowała w różowych koszulach przyozdobionych czarnym krawatem. Te jednak szybko wyblakły. Jeden z ówczesnych członków Juventusu, Anglik John Savage zobowiązał się do załatwienia nowych strojów przez swojego znajomego z wysp. We had a gentleman, um... Um, who lived in Nottingham, supported Notts County, um, worked in the lace industry and he was moving over to Italy and when he went over there um, to Turin, uh, Juventus were playing football um, and I think they were wearing pink shirts at the time and he told you I can get you a lovely black and white strip, came back to Nottingham and he provided them with the black and white stripes that they wear today. We, we had formed um, very good relationships with um, Juventus um, during our 150-year celebrations and um, Juventus has a group of supporters who are also supporters of Notts County and groups of supporters from Juventus come over here to watch football just like Notts County supporters go over to, to Italy and um, so It was fantastic to be invited to open the new stadium and play against Juventus. Um, the big concern was would we let ourselves down and probably get beaten, but um, we had a very good game and um, Lee Hughes scored a goal very late on for a 1-1 draw. Dziś klub ten znajduje się na marginesie angielskiej piłki, jednak mało kto wie, że walnie przyczynił się on w ogóle do jej powstania. Nie byłoby futbolu, angielskiego futbolu w takim kształcie, jakim teraz się znajduje, gdyby nie Notts County. We are still the oldest professional club in the world. Up until our recent relegation from Football League Division 2, we were the oldest football league club in the world also. We were formed in 1862. Um, we were the found, one of the 11 founder members of the first football league in 1888. Wspaniała historia wiąże się również z derbami Nottingham. Pojedynki Notts County z Nottingham Forest są ważnym elementem dziejów wyspiarskiej piłki. Well, naturally, um, as you see behind me, um, we we are the closest two clubs in England. Um, there's the river just separating us. Not in Great Britain, Dundee are the closest two clubs in in and. There's always um, a big passion um, when Notts County play against um, Nottingham Forest. The Notts County supporters want to do well. Um, that happened in the in the 1970s um, when when both clubs were playing in the then second division championship. Now and um, um, we played together in, in the same league for f four years. So in the eight games, I think we only lost one. So we were the upper dogs at that time. But then a gentleman by the name of Brian Clough joined Nottingham Forest and then the success went like that for 25 years. So we, we, we didn't beat them very often, but um, great rivalry between the two clubs. Przed kilkoma laty bramki na Meadow Lane strzegł Bartosz Białkowski. We went to Ipswich Town. The goalkeeper, he was a fantastic goalkeeper for, for, for Notts County. Very sad to, um, to lose him. Tremendous goalkeeper. Na świecie nie istniały jeszcze takie kluby jak Barcelona, Real czy Juventus, a oni już świętowali swój pierwszy poważny triumf, czyli zwycięstwo w Pucharze Anglii. 
Wygrana w FA Cup w roku 1894 po dziś dzień pozostaje największym sukcesem tej drużyny. Nie oznacza to jednak tego, że w późniejszych czasach fani nie mieli czego świętować. We've had several golden eras. Um, I was fortunate to play in one era, which was through the 70s, when we were a team playing in the fourth division that got promoted into the third and then into the second. Um, and shortly after that into the first division. That was under the um, manager Jimmy Cyril, the stands named after him over there. I was very fortunate to be at this club when the manager Jimmy Cyril came in and he taught us um, that football wasn't just about going playing football on the pitch. It was having an influence on the pitch. So in my case as a striker, I had to be seen upsetting defenders Uh, creating goals, scoring goals, and he said to me, your work needs to be done inside that 18-yard penalty box. I'll take anything else outside of there, but that's your main, main work. Um, so it was vital, and I watch football now, um, and when I watch a football game, I look for players who are influencing the, the, the performance and the result. Miniony sezon był zdecydowanie najsmutniejszym w dziejach Notts County. Klub ten po raz pierwszy w swojej historii opuścił Football League spadając z czwartego poziomu na piąty. Uh, my dad bought me while I was still a baby, so uh, my first match I can't remember, but I've been supporting them since the 1960s. It was terrible. It was uh, yeah, it was it was horrible. It was horrible to watch. It was horrible to see what was happening off the uh, field and it's it's just not nice. Oh, about 50 years, well since I was a child. So I can remember coming as a school, running all the way around the ground before they had these fences up and everything. Yes, a very long time. But I can't remember how I got started, but I used to come here with a schoolmate and then somebody used to bring me. It just seemed a natural place to go, so... Yeah, very disappointing. It, it, it was probably one of the worst seasons I've ever seen. We were losing, we were getting defeated heavily most games. Very depressing the whole season was. Drużyna przeszła jednak nie tylko kryzys sportowy, ale i finansowy. Niewiele brakowało, a Notts County przestałoby istnieć. We, we've had um, difficulties over the last decade um, with the owners uh, of Notts County, where they maybe felt that um, um, it maybe was going to be easy. It was about signing big name players and success would come automatically. And um, it wasn't it, it wasn't that easy, and the recruitment was poor, and, and um, big players have come in on, on, on big money that the club hasn't been able to afford, and and then it became a, re a real mess. And, and we were very very lucky to find um, owners that would take the club on. We we have uh, new owners, two Danish owners. Um, I have listened to interviews, um, and they have spoken about securing the, the long-term existence of Notts County Football Club uh, and their first aim is to get the club promoted back into the second division um, and then when that's achieved we move on from there. Yeah, I'm not so sure we'll do it this year. I do like Neil Ardley, I do like him as a manager but I think it's going to take time because I think so much went on last year and I think he took over in an impossible situation uh, that I think it's a case of We're try trying to rebuild as late as we did because the new owners didn't come in till late. I think that will present a problem, but I do feel optimistic, yes. The qualities of the club is that the main quality is that it is a community club. Uh, it is here for the fans of Nottingham and the club does so much work for disadvantaged people in, in the city and the county, um, helping people um, um, to restore confidence, to get back to normality. Um, and it's got a long history which the community want to be part of. A jeśli chcielibyście poznać historię zawodnika, który niemalże bezpośrednio z ulicy trafił do Manchester United, to odsyłam Was do mojego odcinka, który pojawił się na kanale Zawód Typer. Znajdziecie go również w tej karcie. Do zobaczenia!